What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool mermaid braid bracelet. I told you in my last video that this would probably be my next tutorial to look out for it, so let's get started. For this, you're going to need some bands. You can use one border band and multiple ba colored bands in the middle like I did. Or you can do just two colored bands in the middle or different colors on the border or whatever you like. This bracelet, it really doesn't matter. So for this, you'll also need a loom, a hook, and a clip. I'm using an S clip. A C clip or a different type of clip will work perfectly fine, but this is what I have. So let's just get started. You can try this not on a loom, like you can use a finger loom, that works. You can use a monster tail loom, that also works. And you can try doing this on like a pencil loom or your two fingers. It's just gonna be a lot more difficult. I definitely recommend that you have a loom for this. You, now you don't have to have a rainbow loom. You can have a different loom like this, but I'm gonna be using my rainbow loom. So let's get started. First, you need to choose your border color, and mine is going to be purple. And then for my inside colors, I'm gonna be using this teal green and this bubblegum pink. It may not really look too much like teal green on this. It may look more blue, but that's just the way that the camera makes it. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So let's just get started. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna take our border color and we're gonna take and put that on a figure eight on the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first inside color, this color, I'm gonna take for this color and we're gonna wrap it around this right peg and make a capping band. Wrap it around only twice. Then we're gonna take another one of our border color bands and put it on straight across. And this is what you should have so far. Now we're gonna need our hook. We're gonna push back this top band push back the cap. We're not gonna go through this purple band. We're gonna go in front of it, push back the capping band, and pull over this very bottom border band. You should have that. Now, you can alternate and do blue or my teal green and then the bubblegum pink, or if you're using the two different inside colors, and then, but I really like how it looks whenever you do the two same colors on one side, then switch colors. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna take another one of my teal green colors and put a capping band wrapped around twice on the left peg. If I can get it to cooperate. Okay. Now we're going to put another one of our border color bands on top and again we're going to go in front of that purple band push the cap band back and pull up both of those bottom bands now you should have that we're going to go ahead and push that down and then now I'm gonna alternate colors from my teal green to the bubblegum pink. And we're gonna be alternating between pegs, right, you put the cap band on, then left, right, left, right, left. Okay, we're gonna put this on as a cap band wrapped around twice. Then we're gonna put on another one of our border color bands on top. So again, for this, we're gonna go in front of this purple band, go inside the cap band, push it back, and then from now on, we're gonna grab all of these bottom bands at once. You're gonna probably need to hold down this pink cap band or whatever color you have so that it doesn't try and go up with the rest of the bands. But 
From now on, we're just going to be pulling up all of those bands on the bottom. I'm sorry, my camera's doing weird focus and stuff. Okay, now we're going to take another one of our bubblegum pink bands, or whatever color you have, and we're going to wrap it around twice for a cap band on the left peg. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put another one of our border color bands on top, go in front of the border color band, reach inside the capping band, hold it down, and then pull up all of those bottom bands. And we're just going to be repeating those steps throughout the whole bracelet, but you're gonna have to grab these bottom bands and stretch and pull out your bracelet throughout the process because if you don't, it's not gonna create this braided effect. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple more times and then I'll come back and show you how to end the bracelet. So I'm gonna show you guys again. So we're gonna take our next color for me. It is the teal green. So we're gonna take it and start again on the right peg and wrap it around twice to create a cap band. And then put another one of our border color bands straight across on the top. So again, we're gonna go in front of this border color band and not inside of it, but we're gonna go inside the cap band, push that back and grab all of these bottom bands. Again, you gotta hold down this cap band so it doesn't go up with the other ones. And that's what you should have. And remember, you're gonna have to keep stretching this out and pulling it down throughout the video so that you can get that braided effect or else it's not gonna look right. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to this left pin. Wrap it around twice for a cap band. Put another one of your border color bands on the top. And then we're going to do the same thing, go in front of the border color band, go inside the cap band, push that back, and grab all of these bottom bands. Ugh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys one more time. And then I'm gonna speed this up and come back again and show you how to finish the bracelet. So now we're gonna do the right peg again. Take your color and wrap it around twice for a cap band. Put your border color on the top. Go in front of that, inside the cap band. Push it back. Grab all the bottom bands. Hold on to the cap band and take all of those bottom bands over. And then do the left peg. Wrap that around twice for a cat band. Put on your border color band. Go in front of the border color band, inside the cat band, push that back. Grab all of those bottom bands at once. Hold down that cap band and bring over all those bottom bands. Okay, so I will be right back to show you how to end the bracelet. Okay, so now that your bracelet is long enough, you're gonna need to measure around your wrist and make sure it stretches out long enough. And then you're gonna need to take a single one of your border color bands, stretch it across the top, then take all the bands on the bottom 
of both sides. Make sure you get all of them and pull them over. Then you're gonna take one of the sides and you can keep them on two separate pins, but I like to put them on one pin. And then put your S clip on. Now take it off. And then this band down here that looks like a figure eight, we're gonna grab that and place the other side of our S clip or C clip on that. And that's your bracelet. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Make sure to go check out my other tutorials. This is a bracelet that I designed. I'll be releasing the tutorial for that soon. Make sure to keep an eye out for it. And I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!